up? It is Marissa Nicole here and welcome back to my drifting desk where I help you conquer college. Today I wanted to talk about something because a lot of my sorority sisters who don't live in the house, I've heard a lot of their like roommate horror stories and just things in general that y'all are commenting and I'm like, oh, do y'all know how to live with someone else? I know like literally one of my very first videos, so please don't go watch it. I'm not gonna link it anywhere because it makes me cringe because I was not comfortable on camera. So <laughs> one of my first videos was like how to be a good roommate. That still applies, but today I wanted to kind of revamp it and do kind of dorm room do's and don'ts. So like what you should be doing living in a dorm room with other people and what you shouldn't be doing when you live in a dorm room with other people. Because apparently not everybody knows a lot of the things because they haven't had to live with people. So I wanted to give you my tips and tricks and just advice in terms of me living literally with a roommate all four years of college. But before we dive into the video if anything that I say has happened to you or you have some sort of roommate horror story please comment down below for some reason I like I like to hear about them because I'm just like no like that really happened and it just baffles my mind so if you have any like crazy roommate horror stories please comment down below because I want to hear them but also if I mention anything in here that you didn't really know was kind of a good or a bad thing to do and that means like you've learned something from this video please give it a thumbs up because I like to know that I'm helping y'all and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing down below because we have tons of on this channel doing a whole bunch of different stuff and I don't want you to miss out. Let's dive right in. I know y'all remember my big YouTube book. I'm sure you've seen it in a lot of videos. Of course, I wrote down some stuff in here. I kind of did it like a, you should be doing this, so don't be doing this kind of manner. So I might be going kind of back and forth or I'm gonna go through all the don'ts or go through all the do's. I don't really know yet. You know, we're just gonna do this together. You would think that this first point is kind of a no brainer, but again, a lot of people just don't do this. So you should be cleaning up after yourself. Don't leave dirty clothes, dishes, your things, anything anywhere other than in your spaces. If you wanna leave your bed and your desk a complete mess, that is your prerogative. But if you have common areas of your dorm, it is just respectful to not dirty those common areas because they're common. And if your stuff's all over them, nobody else can use them. You should be respecting quiet hours of your dorm or even if you and your roommate have agreed on something completely different, you should be respecting those and not stay up until 2 a.m. blasting music when your roommate's trying to sleep because they have an 8 a.m. the next day. If you guys have already set out guidelines, please be respectful of that and just follow through those guidelines. If you've set that quiet hours start at 10 p.m., at 10 p.m., you should either be in bed or some Somewhere else not in the room because your roommate is potentially trying to follow quiet hours you should only be using your things or only using things that your roommates have said that you're allowed to use do not touch other people's things or use their things without their permission you should definitely be social in college and have friends over and you know intertwine your roommates in with your friend group that's just being friendly but also please do not have your friends over 24 7 because this is not where they live this is not their personal space and your roommate might not want guests over 24 7 also if your guest just happens to be you know a significant other of any kind you should definitely you know let them know that they're gonna be coming over and do not have sex with them when your roommates in the room or do anything sexual with them in the room and definitely do not have sex on their spaces or common spaces literally just only your area and not in the room basically at all just that, that'd be great we could just do that <laughs> you should definitely be hanging out with your roommates you know show that you care and that you like them and like you're trying to be nice to them duh but also don't bombard them and try to tag along on everything that they're doing or try to invite them to absolutely everything unless you guys are on that level when you walk into the room you should definitely be mindful of what other people are doing and not just walk in screaming, yelling, playing loud music, throwing things, doing whatever you do because you don't know what they're doing. What if at two o'clock in the afternoon, I know it's not quiet hours, but what if your roommate had a hard test, she comes home and she wants to take a nap. You shouldn't just run into the room screaming and yelling because you don't know what's going on unless she's texted you, said that like she's out somewhere, whatever. Just be mindful and just be respectful when you enter spaces because you don't know what else is going on. Again, you are sharing this space. It is not just your space anymore. Y'all should definitely be taking turns doing the chores of the like house or dorm or wherever you're at. Make sure that the floors are being swept and cleaned, the trash is being taken out, you know mirrors and windows are being like windexed and dusted whatever y'all need to do take turns do not push your chores away or off until you know the trash is overflowing or I can't even see myself in the mirror because there's so much hairspray on it like just do your own chores and get them done in a timely manner if y'all are sleeping side by side or like in the same kind of room or bunk beds or whatever basically if you're in the same room while you're sleeping do not have 20 alarms that go off every five minutes with some like wah, 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 alarm because that's nobody wants to wake up like that especially if they don't have to be awake yet if your alarm's going off at 7 o'clock 7 15 7 30 7 45 Five, eight o'clock like I'm gonna be up that whole hour now of course you need an alarm I'm not saying don't have an alarm but just you know maybe turn the volume down or put it on like super vibrant put it underneath your pillow figure something out that way you were just being respectful and mindful of other people in that room you should definitely be a good roommate and you know wish your roommates good luck on an exam that they have or you know make sure that they're motivated when they're studying you could leave them little like candies you could literally leave them a note just texting them and saying good luck just be kind and just make
make sure that you go out of your way to show kindness to them. If there's ever a problem in the dorm for any reason, whether it's cleaning or boys or whatever, any kind, any kind of problem, you should definitely be communicating with your roommate and not being passive aggressive on social media. We are not in high school anymore. This is not let's gossip at the lunch table. It's if you have a problem, you address it in person. Like I mentioned before, we definitely want you to be bringing friends over, you know, integrating your friend groups and just making everybody feel welcome, but also do that on their side. So when their friends come over, be friendly to them. Make sure you say, hi, you know, how are your classes? Or what major are you in? Just make conversation and just be friendly to them to make sure that they know that, like you're welcoming them into your room. Just be nice, be a nice person. Definitely don't cold shoulder her friends or don't talk to them or give them a little like, Hey, just be friendly. It's not gonna kill you. While you're being mindful of what your roommate is doing inside the room, also just be mindful of what they're doing, period. Because if they have somewhere to be, don't be taking up the bathroom or don't be taking up certain areas of the room when they need to be getting ready as well. Don't take an hour shower when she also needs to get ready for an interview. Just be mindful of what y'all's schedules are. That way y'all can plan around each other and everybody gets a piece of the pie. While y'all are integrating your friend groups and stuff, please don't exclude your roommates. That's just kind of like awkward and weird. In general, if you didn't get the gist of this whole video, it's it's just be mindful of yourself and of others. Put yourself in someone else's shoes and ask yourself, should I be doing this right now? If she was doing this to me, would I like that? And that'll definitely answer all of your questions of whether or not you should be doing something in your dorm or you shouldn't be doing something in your dorm. So just be a decent human being. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> no, but seriously, if y'all have any other suggestions, please post them down below. Help each other out. Give them tips on what you should and should not be doing in the dorm room. And again, also post down below if y'all have any roommate horror stories just because I just like reading them. I have a roommate horror story myself so if y'all want to hear that you have to you have to give me give me some of y'all's first once i get a lot of y'all's little roommate horror stories i'll post my own roommate horror story thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing i will see you next time bye